We started our day here at Phil's One Stop Off Hillegas Road, and the entrance may as well be a revolving door. It's really been one customer coming in right after the other to get those Powerball tickets. And the general manager says he's never seen anything quite like it. Powerball fever is alive and well in the Summit City. I don't know how lucky I'm going to get, but hey, it's worth the shot. Players taking a chance with one ticket, a dozen or more. 21 tickets, plus we're doing a poll at work, and my fiance is doing a poll at her work. Me and the old lady seen that it's like 800 million, and then it went up to a billion, so he's like, you know what? We're going to buy tickets. All of those sales may mean big business, but stores are also going to great lengths to keep up with the insane demand. It's almost scary how many people you see buying lottery. Since last Tuesday, the general manager here at Phil's One Stop says sales have tripled, and it's even added extra help to make sure both registers are staffed at all times. We want them to be able to get in, get their Powerball, and get back on the road. Using technology or other numbers, Powerball players make their picks. Just a computer pick. I get too overwhelmed if I try to pick because I feel bad if I leave somebody's birthday out and if I, you know, put somebody's birthday in, and then I'd feel bad. Social Security numbers and our birth dates. Some players come more prepared than others. I left it out in the car. My wife's going to kill me. But Joseph Delaney already has Lady Luck on his side. The Fort Wayne native won $3,600 on Monday with a pick four. If his streak continues, he'll head to California. Open up three businesses, a car lot, a restaurant, and a uh, clothing store. While some would stay working, others would opt in for early retirement. I'm sure I'll have to work tomorrow, but if I do win, I will call in Rich. <laughs> Even if you aren't the lucky winner tonight, Phil's One Stop will have a second chance drawing with all the tickets purchased at their stores. On Monday, each Fort Wayne location will put all those tickets into a drawing, and whoever wins gets a $100 gift card. Reporting live from Phil's One Stop, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.